Hey, good afternoon. It's January 24th, 2024. Uh, I'm just going to be finally getting a drive video in with this car. Um, had the car over at my mechanic uh, for the past week. Uh, we were waiting for a vacuum pod uh, that was inside the dash that was malfunctioning. Luckily, we were able to get the last one in the country. So I'll finally be able to get this car out on the open road, show you how it performs. Beautiful car. And if you bear with me in one moment, we'll show you how it drives. 1985 Mercedes Benz 380 SC. Smoke silver over burgundy. It's January 24th, 2023. 2024. Hey, good afternoon. It is January 24th, 2024. Just going to be shooting this drive video of this 1985 380 SE. Uh, it was a two owner car, spent its entire life in New Jersey. Uh, the original owner had this car till 2017, and then it was purchased by its second owner, who was a service manager for a Mercedes Benz dealership. And um, the car is in exceptional condition cosmetically as well as mechanically. Um, found out about this car. It was for sale up in North Jersey. It turns out that the uh, owner of the car is an avid Mercedes-Benz enthusiast. As well as a very close friend of uh, Jamie Kopchinski of the Classic Workshop in Hackettstown, New Jersey. Uh, they serviced this car in 2023. They addressed a couple of items, including replacing the mono valve, which is a known issue on all 126 and 107 cars. Uh, car is very, very well maintained mechanically. Runs and drives fantastic, which you'll see in a moment. And um, uh, I'm shooting the drive video. The car is presently on auction. I wasn't able to shoot the drive video this past week. I had the car at my mechanic. Uh, we were replacing a slide jaw on one of the window regulators. And I mentioned one of the vacuum pods in the dash was malfunctioning. Fortunately, uh, it was still available from Mercedes-Benz and it was the last one in the country. So I was quite fortunate to get that vacuum pod replaced with an OEM vacuum pod. Uh, car is in excellent condition mechanically. Uh, shifter bushings are nice and tight. Um, heat and AC works excellent. Um, just a really, really nice car. Becker Grand Prix radio works fantastic. Just 24 cents down, 14.99 a month. Cancel anytime. And to make it even better, we have free business training. Equip as well as the power antenna works flawlessly. Uh, it's a car that was enthusiast owned. Uh, this was, you know, one owner up till 2017, and the gentleman who purchased this car was obviously very familiar with. Mercedes-Benz cars. He recognized the quality of this car. And um, I was quite fortunate to get it. Um, drove it from New Jersey, uh, from Northern New Jersey down to my shop here in Central New Jersey. Um, it does everything well. Uh, smooth acceleration, nice tight uh, suspension brakes are excellent uh, car tracks down the road nice and straight just a very very nice car uh, everything about it um, I'm pleased with it from the cosmetics down to the mechanical uh, all the electronics are functional the clock keeps perfect time When we got the car in, we noticed that the um, the fluids and filters were all excellent. But we did a uh, we did an oil change, 
as I mentioned, we replaced the vacuum pod, uh, vent actuator pod in the dash. Uh, very lucky that my fear was it would be no longer available and I'd be searching eBay for that, uh, for that actuator pod, but luckily there was one left and I got it. So I was very, very fortunate there. Um, and uh, car runs and drives fantastic. Uh, very smooth, nice and quiet in the cabin. Very comfortable car. As I mentioned, the heat and AC works excellent. In 2023, when the car was at uh, the Classic Workshop, it had the mono valve updated. Real known problem with these 126, 107s is the mono valve. Uh, it's a uh, it, it's it's an item that just goes with age. Luckily, you can still get them. So the heat and AC works great. driving car. So the car is presently presently on auction on Bring a Trailer. It went live about three hours ago. Um, I did make note I will have the BMI and uh, as I presume there is no uh, indication that the timing chain was ever changed. However, there was a replacement of the timing chain tensioner in 2017. Uh, car drives beautifully, you can see it shifts very smooth between the gears. Really, really nice, solid, very clean uh, 126, which many believe to be one of the best uh, built Mercedes-Benz cars, best S-Class, some call it the best S-Class ever built. I believe that there is a lot of truth to that. It's for me the uh, the 108, 109 is the most one of the most beautiful cars ever built. Uh, possibly the most beautiful sedan I've ever seen in my life. I, I love the styling of the 108, and then comes the 116, which is the absolute most bank vault, highest build quality of any car that I've ever felt. Everything on that car is heavy and solid. Probably one of the best built cars in history is the 116, which was the predecessor to this model, the 126. Now the 126, to me, the 108, I think is a better looking car. 116 is a heavier car. This car does everything exceptionally well. I mean, it's a very, very well-built car. Uh, when you close the door on a 126, I mean, you can you can feel how solid the hood, the trunk. Uh, when you look underneath the car, you'll have well-built and well thought out every aspect of this car is. And then you come around to the interior. This is a car that I'd have absolutely no problem driving it across country. The comfort level is second to none. It's an extremely comfortable car. Um, the drive quality is absolutely fantastic. Uh, this being a 380, it doesn't have the power of the 560, but I don't think either car is necessarily fast. In fact, I don't, I don't think Almost, almost all, with the exception of maybe a, a, a real high-performance Ferrari or Porsche, the cars from this era are not fast by today's standards. I think the power that this car delivers is more than adequate for today's driving. I'll show you how it accelerates now. 
very smooth shifting transmission. Turn this heat down. Tracks down the road beautifully. Very comfortable drive. presently has 63,310 miles. It's in exceptionally clean condition. Um, interior of the car is gorgeous. The exterior of the car is absolutely gorgeous. I did make note that I did have paintwork done to this car. It was done at Lee's garage. Uh, I removed a pinstripe off this car. And um, I wasn't happy. The pinstripe was a taped pinstripe. It was probably taped at the dealership when it was new. And the adhesive of that tape really bonded really hard on this clear coat. And no matter how I compounded and polished it after removing the tape, it just it didn't look right. So I had... Uh, both sides of the car repainted and while I were, while I was at it I had them uh, also do the front of the hood so the paint match is fantastic the car looks absolutely fantastic I'm very pleased with how it came out it's a beautiful beautiful car runs and drives as nice as it looks and uh, it's a winner uh, it's an 85 model so it has the uh, dual road timing chain also has a driver side airbag uh, Becker Grand Prix radio works great stereo and uh, it's just a, just a great car and this car will sell to the highest bidder on bring a trailer very very nice car I am certain that the new owner will be very pleased with their purchase it's a great car and I just want to wish everyone the best of luck